These women in Rwanda were former sex workers. Many of them are now infected with HIV. They wear the yellow aprons of a local association they say counsels them in treating their disease and gets them out of prostitution by providing a different profession, like this one, planting. If it weren't for such local leaders, says former sex worker Imrate Coretta, she'd still be selling herself, risking her life and others. Now we have realized that prostitution put our lives at risk and that we can survive otherwise through self-employment. We can do something more and better than prostitution. Likewise, in Mozambique, these people are turning their lives around with the help of local leadership. They are HIV positive, but thanks to local efforts in their country, they are getting the treatment and counseling they need to survive. And in Tanzania, this local health clinic is teaching these people ways of avoiding the HIV virus, or for women who already have it, ways of avoiding transmitting it to their babies. Those involved in the war against AIDS say a major focus in the global funding to combat the epidemic must be local groups and communities, especially in sub-Saharan Africa, which accounts for 67 percent of all people living with HIV and 72 percent of AIDS deaths in 2007. Without leadership and without working with the uh, community leaders and religious leaders and social leaders and women leaders and youth leaders who are also role models uh, for their peers, we really cannot achieve the successes. The UN reports the epidemic is stabilizing and there has been progress in reducing mother-to-child transmission in some countries. But the overall number of people with HIV has increased because people continue to get infected and because those with HIV now live longer due to better access to treatment. What that means is that we have to do much more in prevention, uh, balance the treatment and prevention, because without prevention we cannot sustain the treatment uh, needs in the future. Treatment will also become more expensive because large numbers of people will require treatment and will also new, need new drugs. Experts say a positive aspect of the war on AIDS is that years of experience with the epidemic have provided a better picture of which groups of people need the most focus, namely women, sex workers, men having sex with men, and both men and women with multiple partners. Another positive aspect of the fight against AIDS, World Bank and UN officials say, is that there is now more information governments can use to better tailor their HIV prevention programs. In the last decade, we have been learning gradually as to how the epidemic is progressing in what population groups and what works and what doesn't work. Uh, one of the things which globally happened uh, in the last four years is for, first of all, to help countries to know their epidemic. If they know their epidemic, then they would know what kind of response is appropriate. And any appropriate responses, say experts, must attack HIV AIDS at its core by preventing further spread of the virus, in addition to treating those already victim to it.